Okay, so this is just a quick tutorial on how to use AI assisted noise cancellation in videos if you have background noise, fans, that sort of thing. So if you're not familiar with it, Crisp is a AI tool. It's actually free. Um, there is a paid version. However, go ahead and go to this website and download their software, crisp.ai. And then once you have it downloaded, it'll give you 60 minutes for free every day. So usually my audio interviews, if I'm recording interviews, don't go over 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. So it's a really easy, fast way to clean up audio, and it's, it's a very easy tool to use. So once you have that downloaded and installed, the next tool you need to download is Virtual Cable. <clears throat> so Virtual Cable allows you to use software to channel audio from one source to another. So sometimes you want to play audio off of, for example, OBS or uh, audio video software and have it land in a recording software like Audacity. And without this tool, you can't really get it in very easily. Fortunately, this is also free. Everything's free today. Um, get the version for Mac or PC, Mac in this case. Um, and then the last thing you need to download is OBS Studio. OBS Studio is pretty popular. There's tons of t tutorials on it, so feel free to check them out. Get the Mac OS or Windows version, download and install this, and just set it up so it can record. Um, what we want to do with these three tools, so that's Crisp, Virtual Cable, and OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, is use them in conjunction to process audio through a pipeline. So once you have these downloaded, what we're going to do is open Crisp first. So when you install Crisp, um, the top of your toolbar over here, it'll have a little icon pop up. Let me get it pulled up here. And it'll kind of show you some settings. The first thing you need to change is go to the top three dots, go to preferences, and make sure the audio is set to best voice quality HD. That'll make it sound the best. In general, I just leave it at English because I speak English, so that's how it's set up for me. Um, the next thing you need to make sure is that your audio is set up for the virtual cable. And I'll explain why in a minute, but the timer does start ticking once you open the software, so anytime you don't need to use it, quit it. You quit it by clicking here and going quit crisp. Okay? It requires you to be online and logged in, but it works great, so it's free. I'd recommend trying it out at least once. Um, the next thing you have to do is make sure that cancel noise and room echo is turned on. And then from there, it's just leave it running for the next two programs. So I'm going to click this and leave it back down again. And then we'll go ahead and open up our next software, which is OBS. So I'm going to drag my window in, kind of get that crazy window, 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 window thing. Um, just focus on the settings here I'm going to be opening up. So I'm going to go to settings really quick. Go to video, I'm sorry, audio. And inside of audio there is advanced monitoring device. Select virtual cable or VB dash cable. Okay. That makes it so that OBS can monitor through the virtual cable. I know this sounds all confusing. It'll make sense in a second. So that's all you need to do for that is an audio advanced virtual cable, VB cable. Okay. Then what you need to do is you need to add a source. So I have some sources here running, but I'm going to add a media source. So down here, let me make this so you can see it. Add media source right here. Okay. And you can call this audio playback. And what you want to do is you want to find an audio file. So if there's something you're working on, um, any type of media that's video or audio will work. So I'm going to go to just one that's like an iPhone audio, uh, this one here. Open and pause. That's upside down for some reason, whatever. Um, doesn't matter if it has video or not. What matters is you have this play bar here. And the newer versions of OBS have a play bar. Um, that's going to bug me. Rotate. There we go. Um, this play bar 
will let you scrub through the audio or the video and I'm gonna leave that running here okay I'm just gonna move this video so I can see what we're doing um, the next thing is opening up audacity and I didn't mention downloading audacity because you don't have to use audacity um, if you do want to use Auda something different feel free to um, audacity is also free um, I just don't tell people what what oh man I got all these updates okay um, audacity is pr the best tool for this purpose because it's you don't need anything super robust you don't need like pro tools or anything um, all you're gonna do in audacity is go to audio setup recording device you want to make that the crisp microphone okay and then playback device can be your headphones whatever you're using doesn't matter and then the last thing is in your audio source so right now I have this video is like my audio source so in my sources here I have it as audio playback click the three let's bring this up so you can see it um, here it is okay so audio source click in the audio mixer the three dots go to advanced audio properties and audio playback which is the one I made here turn it to monitor and output okay so that's all you need to do is change that to monitor and output so now OBS is configured so whatever this is playing it's going to play here it's going to hit crisp which is up here right up here playing and make sure it's unmuted and then it's going to record into audacity okay this is just made in one shot so I'm not doing a ton of editing because I'm trying to just get a tutorial out so I'm gonna hit record you're gonna hear some audio obviously I'm just gonna put it randomly in there it's just me blabbing about nothing so I'm gonna hit record here first on audacity then hit play behind the scenes stuff this is a shoot that's very small it's not technically paid because it's more of a volunteer type shoot I know those are Okay, I'll pause that for a second, then stop. And you'll notice that anywhere it's silent, it has no noise. So if I play this back. It's not technically paid because it's more of a volunteer type shoot. I know those are. So perfect. So what it did was it removed, like I had like a fan running in my car, I think. There was some traffic noise outside. Um, it can do a lot, but you also need the audio source to be somewhat good to begin with, meaning it needs to be like close. So if you have a lapel mic or something um, like like professional, usually that will get you enough of the way there to give you clean audio. But this is a, no, a phenomenal tool. Um, you know, I've kind of used it on lots of things, and it's kind of a best kept secret on my side of things. But there's a lot of newer tools that are like built into DaVinci Resolve now that do AI stuff. This gives you a really quick clean pass of audio and it honestly takes care of most of the background noise in industrial environments freeways I mean it really does a good job so feel free to play with it obviously it's not perfect but it's gonna do a really good job of removing that background noise you don't want so if you have any questions let me know that should be a clear way of setting it up once again once you're finished using crisp close the software so you don't burn through minutes needlessly Alright, thanks for watching and hope to see you around. Thanks.